It was wild jubilation in Adamawa State as the state government discharged five COVID-19 patients, including its index case, a journalist who returned from Kanu. The Adamawa State Governor Amadou Fintiri, while urging the federal government to support the state with funds to fight the virus, says it is optimistic the government will render the state and the same gesture of goodwill in doubt to order states via the provision of funds to contain the pandemic. We cannot be treated like a pariah state. We are part of the federal government. Uh, what is good for the Ganda, I mean, good is also good for the Ganda. If they have extended some assistance to other states, we should be expecting that assistance to our people because we have also uh, contributed and we are part and parcel of the federal government of Nigeria. You can see that they are already settling down for the guidelines, using the masks, washing their hands, maintaining social distance. And I think much more is still on the, on the shoulder of the journalists to still enlighten and promote these guidelines so that our people will adhere strictly that it concerns their welfare and their health. Some people that are affected with this disease called COVID-19 in Adamawa here, like five persons has been discharged. And one of them is a journalist that is part of us. Hearing that news at first, we were all put into trauma, like, okay, one of us is infected already. But then we want to thank God today that um, he's already free and coupled with four persons, they were all discharged together yesterday. It was, a, it was a good news to every journalist out there because we were happy that even though the disease is a killer disease, it is not a dead warrant. It can be resolved and it can be managed. I'm extremely excited because uh, yesterday I participated in the ceremony where five COVID-19 patients were discharged from their isolation center after testing negative. Incidentally, the index case, who happens to be our colleague, a reporter with the Daily Trust newspaper, Kabiru Anwar, happens to be one of the five. And uh, he was released. Today at the Correspondence Chapel meeting, he attended with us. I mean, we were all thrown into jubilation when we saw him entering the hall. So this is clear that COVID-19 is not necessarily a death sentence. I was very happy and I'm still very happy uh, knowing and witnessing the fact that my colleague, who happened to be the index of COVID-19, Adama said, uh, was in isolation uh, center, receiving treatment for 19 days, and then finally he got discharged uh, after, uh, after two tests that proved uh, that he's negative of uh, the COVID-19 